a living in Boulder vlog. I'm doing my lightsy woes. Got one on my back too. Um, it's July 1st, but this is the one for June 30th. It's July 1st, 20, uh, 12, 24 in the morning on Wednesday. Uh, but this is the first that I had a chance to do the video. Um, because I was eating salad and it just took forever to eat the salad because it was big. So, the video that I watched before this was uh, some doctor on YouTube, can't remember his name. I just subscribed to him, explaining coronavirus. I'll watch his new video. Um, so, I got up to a late start today because last night I was awake from midnight to 6 in the morning because I don't sleep between midnight and six, I haven't slept for um, uh, for years. I mean, maybe there was one or something day because I was up for two days in a row and I finally crashed and that made it so that I was able to sleep for midnight to six. But as a rule, I do not sleep from six, from midnight to six. I just lay here and close my eyes and twiddle my thumbs and wait for the sunlight to come. Sunlight coming is wonderful because once the sunlight comes, that's when I start to feel a little bit groggy. And I'm actually able to get me some of that um, REM sleep, which is wonderful because when you wake up from the REM sleep, you have energy. But if you don't ever get the REM sleep, you're not going to have that energy. So, um, so yeah, I had REM from 6 to 12, and that's when I got up. Um, all recharged and, um, um, or maybe I got it maybe a little later cause I was got up and I got out and quick as I could, but it was forever since I got, when I finally got out, I got out on my electric bike. And it was now, oh, it now on the electric bike is that I get up and then I do a hill and there are hills around here that I haven't done yet. I've done, um, on the electric bike, I've been to the top of Lee Hill, and when I come back, like the battery died right as I'm rolling in. The battery on, I have a Copenhagen wheel on a regular road bike, and um, I weigh 195 pounds, um, and I'm really weak. I ride at about 115 watts when I'm hammering. So it, and, and I come with two full big water bottles um, that I don't drink really. So, um, but the, uh, the, the bike, um, yeah, it takes me to the top of, uh, just about barely takes me to the top of, uh, Lee Hill and back. Same thing with, so that I did for the first time I did, um, uh, flag staff and that took me to, uh, the top and then I went to the flag pole and the battery died maybe a couple blocks from here. So, um, and then yesterday I went up to the top of, um, um, sunshine. Maybe that was yesterday or something. And when I came back, the battery was, the battery I think took me all the way back, but it was at like 7%. So yeah. Um, uh, another one that I could do would be, um, like just to see far, how far up James Canyon I can get. Maybe you can take me to Jamestown. I don't know. That's another one that I could try. Um, that would be a good one to do with the electric bike because it's not very steep. And when something's not very steep, the electric bike really helps you. And I'm basically like as fast as the fastest biker. I'm like, I'm, I, I break Strava records. Um, I broke the Strava record by 12 seconds from um, um, Broadway to the turnoff at Lee Hill the other day. Um, but then when I get home, I switch it to e-bike ride and it takes that away. Um, but um, I... Uh, and then tomorrow I want to go Linden because I haven't done Linden yet. Um, and, um, uh, yeah. And so I want to explore around some of these other roads. I went up, I explored a road today and, uh, and all the rich people houses, like it's dead end road and then came down. That'd be a fun one to go for Strava's on the ups and downs on those. Like at night when you don't have to deal with people. I feel like crash into an animal, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I want to go out at night. When I get fit, I'm going to go out at night with my light and my time trial bike and fucking gobble up all the Strava segments, or at least try to get as far up as I can. <laughs> um, but that'll be in a while because I'm really weak now. But um, So the second ride that I did, um, 
I came back and I think I took like an hour off because I took um I did 20 minutes of my lights and I fell asleep. These things are great for making you fall asleep. Um, and then I did, and then I put on setting B and I had 20 minutes and um, I'll explain what these lights do later. They put like light into you. Um, so um, um, they're called Avalon lights. I'll talk about it later. But um, they're like 2,500 bucks. My mom got the new ones, so she gave me her old ones. I was like, yeah, baby, woo um, um, But um, here's my bottom packet. Here's my bottom thing. But I think they're getting old because you can see that those lights are missing. So I have to be real careful and not, not, be, not to break them. But um, yeah, they have heat. Um, so I came back and then I did another 20 minutes and then I did a third 20 minutes, but I was like 15, 15 minutes into the last one and I started to feel awake. And so I just threw them away and I got going, but it was running kind of late. Um, it's hard for me to get started in the morning. I mean, it's what time is it? Like one in the morning now. And I just finished my salad, you know? So it's 1139, but. But I'm also going to have insomnia all night because my belly, 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 my belly is full with uh, salad and a protein drink. Um, I, I did one thing today, and I'm, I'm not going to do it anymore, but for the, I think three times. This is my third time. I got eight of these, and I'm drinking them just because I'm, I'm so thirsty. When I get back and just no electrolytes, I just want to fill. But I'm not going to buy them anymore. I've never done it before, and I'm not going to do it again. It was just It was just the very beginning. I did it three times. Because I can't freaking believe it. Like, I, I, I just gobble eight of these down like it's nothing. And so it's like, oh, because Kyle Pounds decided he was thirsty one afternoon. There's eight of these in the world now. I'm ridiculous. I can't believe idiots buy those things. He's like a Wonder Bread moron people. Let's go get a bunch of Gatorades and go to get drunk with the pants over at the, at the lake. And then we're going to litter and go home and cause a fight. Fucking pieces of shit. Um, not me. I'm the answer. KylePounds.com. Just check it out. Um, so, uh, I, uh, I came back and I had the energy. So I got on my road bike and, um, I rode up cause I thought I saw some dino tracks the other day and when I looked for dino tracks, I didn't see the same dino track. I thought I saw the other day. I thought I saw a sauropod track, like a big old indention in the road. And the thing, but then I saw these little like little ones, and I filmed it. And I don't know if I want to make it a YouTube video. I was gonna ask my fiance if she thought first, <laughs> so she'll check it out and see if it's worth it. But um, I don't know. I think it's kind of it'd be a fun thing to do. Maybe they are dino tracks. I don't know. Um, because I saw the dino tracks over at Dino Ridge the other week with my mom. That was a trippy. If you haven't been to Dinosaur Ridge in Morrison, uh, you're missing out on life. It's going to open your eyes. You best be watching them. They're trippy. It's like, and you can actually feel it. It's like feeling an actual dinosaur, dinosaur cast. Um, and you can see, you can guess how big they are and what their life is just by watching this one guy go in. You can see them from space, from Google Earth. There's these other ones on uh, southeast uh, Colorado that you can see from space too. I'll put them as links on my website whenever I get around to it. So I got on a ride today. So I went up there. It was on Lee Hill, the beginning of the Lee Hill climb. I turned off Lee Hill, went up a little bit, and then I came back. And then I went up Old Stage for the first time since I started riding again. That kind of was a ride that I used to do. That was like my go-to ride when I'd in college and I'd visit my mom. I'd go on a ride and I'd go up Old Stage. And I remember I used to hammer up that in the second to easiest gear at a good clip, like, like a good healthy RPM. Old stage in the second to highest gear, so that's the only, only metric I have to know how strong I was when I was younger. I have no time, I have no placement, I have nothing. It's crazy. Um, I was discouraged to do all that stuff heavily from both my parents because they saw it as direct competition from getting a college degree, which is the only way they're gonna hire you. Um, so I went up old stage and and then I explored up this other road. It's like rich people road and uh and i saw the road behind a gate was actually a public road so i'm gonna ride up to the gate maybe it'll open and i can ride my bike up that bitch 
I want to explore all those paved roads, those neighborhood gated paved roads around here because they might make some pretty damn good rides and maybe there's some Strava, I'm going to see if there's Strava segments up those. Um, and um, so then, um, yeah, Linden, I'm going to do Linden tomorrow. And Linden, you can actually go up Linden and down into Sunshine, but I guess you need pre special permission because it's a private road. So I'm going to see if I can get that special permission. I'm going to go up to the sign, and I took a photo, but I think I lost the photo. I'm going to take a photo of, of, the, of the number and see if I can hook that up. So because between my two rides today, I also went down to um, the bike shop because I wanted to get, oh, wow, I'm talking for 10 minutes and 37 seconds. I wanted to get... Um, 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 I needed to get a lock because I couldn't find my lock. And then I wanted to get, oh yeah, new bar ends for my mountain bike. I have a 30 year old um, um, specialized stump jumper. I have two specialized bikes. My time trial bike is a specialized bike. And, um, but I can't do the handlebars because they just spin around. They're not clippy. So I have to get new ones. It's 30 bucks. So Aragon bar, bar, bar ends. And, um, I have to get another tube. They don't sell tubes in the bike shops because they're all sold out because bicycles have a huge resurgence because of coronavirus. Everybody's riding their bikes now. And so there's nothing in the bike shops and, and you go out and there's gazillions. I looked at the flyby on Strava today and it went, it took up the entire page and then a whole nother page. It was like 60 people that I like rode literally right next to who were on Strava today. Oh, when I went up um, Flagstaff, uh, I haven't looked at the flybys on the second ride. So the second ride, I went over stage, old stage, and I went up that other road. And then I went up, can't remember what it's called, Grand or something. And then I took a left and went all the way to um, um, Georgetown, <laughs> came back all the way to Highway 36 and then came home. Because I didn't want to go up that climb because I was tired and also because I wanted extra miles. I joined some mileage challenge on Strava. If you, I can get the badge if I go... If I average 35 miles a day for the month of July, so um, I'm gonna see if I can do that. I officially I did like 52 day miles today, so and I only did like 14 yesterday, so I think I might be able to do it. I don't know. Um, I'm doing lots of climbing and I'm, I'm I'm and I'm really slow, but I got like five PRs today, so that's cool. So I am getting faster. Um, um, I love these PRs on Strava, man. Like, God damn it, it's like almost a visceral freaking feeling of getting you faster. You can actually, it's like omniscience. You're plugged into the matrix, you know, the data field. You're like, ooh, PR on this, 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 this. Ooh, okay, well, getting stronger. <laughs> I got a PR on my heart rate the other day going up, um, going up, uh, um, um, sunshine. And I was surprised. It was 179. I was surprised because I wasn't really hammering. It wasn't. It was way easier than the day before when I went up Lee Hill. I was just about to have to put my foot down. I didn't want to do that. That's like defeat for a bike rider, having to put your foot down. And I almost had to. And I would have had to today too with Strat with um, flag uh, Flagstaff. But I was zigzagging the entire road. Once you get really steep, the electric bikes don't really help you. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> they only help you when you're on a slight incline. That's the sweet spot for an electric bike. That's where you're going to be like, well, take Strava segments. Or take this. That's where you're going to beat the best riders in the world. If you're a fat fuck like me. It's by riding up some, something like James Canyon. So that's what I was going to do. But I think I'm going to do um, uh, Linden tomorrow. So, yeah, then I came back and rode home right as it was getting dark. And I got, my, I got the Gatorade. So I feel really guilty about it destroying the planet with Gatorades, but um, I'm not going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to get Gatorade powder, though. I love Gatorade powder. I have some other electrolyte drink that tastes gross. And <laughs> I didn't have enough water. I had this full water bottle that I grabbed. I don't even know where it came from. Grabbed out of the refrigerator because it was cold. And uh, I could have gotten water at the uh, Jamestown, but I, I, I opened the little nozzle and it just exploded in my mouth. Not the, just air exploded in my mouth because it was putrid, rancid. And then I tasted it, and it was, like, nasty, so I had to pour it out. Sometimes if you put the powder stuff in the water, it doesn't take long to get nasty. Um, and so um, I'm, I'm, I, I bought a $70 bike lock today. It's, the, it's like those fold-out um, yardsticks from the 70s. Um, it's, it's a... Uh, it's a... Um, it's a... Um, yeah, it's a fancy bike lock. Super strong from... Uh, 
Germany because I couldn't find my bike lock. And then my other bike lock, the freaking keys didn't match, so I had to throw it all away and buy it. But it was 70 bucks, and then another 30 bucks for the for the bar ends, and then another 20 bucks of food, and then a $15 sandwich. I spent 135 bucks today. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm making, like, nothing money because of coronavirus. My money went all down, so I'm scared shitless. I'm, I have to figure out, like, tomorrow how to, how to ride my bike every day with not spending any money. Um, oh, not, you know, so no more Gatorades, no more sandwiches, no more eating, no more going out. Um, I'll go to Taco Bell is reasonable, but, um, I have to feed myself, dude, because my appetite's gonna, gonna crank up in about a month. My ap appetite's gonna crank, and I'm gonna have to have my shit together by then, or else I'm gonna go broke and have to quit. Um, I don't think anybody's gonna help me out. Nobody's gonna try to help me along my path, um, because my website... Isn't that, I haven't explained anything on my website yet. So people want to punish me for not being done. That's how people think in this world today. You have to be done, completely done with one tiny little thing before they like you. If you're like me, and you're almost done with a gazillion genius things, nobody's going to fucking do shit. So um, I'm a little bit skating on thin ice. We were gonna, I was going to go to Conundrum Hot Springs, my fiance, but I, I canceled that today. That's no money for that. So she's going to come in a couple of days on the 4th of July, I guess four days. And, uh, she's going to, we're going to electric bike. She's going to, I have a special smaller bar stem for her and, and it's a small bike. Like when it, when the bar stem's big, it can kind of, it's a little, it's kind of my size, a, maybe a little bit too small, but when the bar stem's small, I think it fits her perfectly. So she's like five, five, 110 pounds. So the, that electric bike will get her up the hill way easier than me. She might even get better range and go faster than me even on the electric bike I gained five pounds um because I like when I started like last week or whatever I was 190 pounds but and then I weighed myself a couple days ago I was 195 because I'd burned some I burned fat away but I gained more muscle because I've been just sitting around on my muscle atrophied so um I don't know I mean maybe I'll gain enough I'll keep I it'll take it may I don't think I'm gonna hit a hundred 200 but because my fat's burning away but it might take a long time for me to get to a reasonable to, the, to under 180 pounds so um you know luckily for me as of now knock on wood hopefully i have enough money to not have to get a job and i can just ride all the time i got this freaking i spent fourteen thousand dollars on a bike look at that bike i spent fourteen thousand dollars on a bike on that bike i have the um specialized shiv time trial bike um, cause, cause that was before coronavirus. I thought I'd be able to afford it. So, um, but I don't want to ride it. I've never even ridden it. I've ridden it a few times. I think I put 1500 miles on it this winter, um, on the trainers and I love riding it on the trainers. Oh my God. It's so cushy in the trainer, but I rode it around my parking lot once. I almost, I could barely ride it. It's like super hard to handle, but I don't want to ride it cause I'm too fat. Um, I'll, I'll look like an idiot and I won't go fast anyway. I'm going to wait until I'm a little bit fitter. I, I would like to get down to under 190 pounds before I ride it. Um, and I'd like to eventually get down to 150 pounds. I want to be like a pro triathlete and get to be just as fast at all that stuff. Problem is I'm 46 and a half years old and I didn't do shit until, I'm, until now, pretty much, especially for the last 10 years. So um, I have to be patient. You know, I can't freak out and like want too much too soon. I have to... So, you know, one month until I'm, until I feel, oh yeah, I was telling my fiance, this is going on forever, but I like to talk. I was telling my fiance, um, today that I'll know when I'm, when I'm, when I'm jazzed, it's going to be when I get my first hit of endorphins. Like I don't, I don't, I don't get endorphin highs at all. When I go out ride, I'm just hammering uh, and I'm feeling sick and almost about to barf and I just feel sick and bad, but it's fun for the adventure and stuff. I was listening to, um. John Bolton's book all the way to the top of um, uh, Flagstaff and back today. And I would have done it for the second ride, but I just kind of, just out of habit, I started listening to music. I just listened to music for the whole ride because I don't like stopping in rides. I only stop if I have to to change my earphones. But I don't like stopping in rides. It's just not my style. If I leave re listening to music, I'll just listen to music the whole time. But I shouldn't have because I was really into that book today. And it was the very first, today was the very first day that I actually listened to something other than music. And it was awesome. 
and you, I hammer just as hard. I push myself just as hard when I'm listening to a really interesting book as when I'm listening to music. And so that's my life goal right now, my number one life goal. I need to inspire people to not listen to music and only listen to audiobooks. And then not just that, but then talk about the audiobooks after the rides. Because if I'm successful at that, all the schools are going to just evaporate. And when that happens, money. Everybody's going to have enough money for all the bikes. Because we're not going to be wasting money on schools and plumbing and electricians and janitors. Who wants to be a janitor at a school anyway? It's much better to turn those janitors into bike schoolers. You know, fucking asshole principals. This piece of shit who runs um, Fort Lewis gets 320000 bucks a year. Those people don't do shit. Those, per- those, uh, those college presidents are just uh, leeches on society. So, um, yeah, I have, to, I have to start doing books and talking about the books. Um, it's kind of a sore subject for me because, um, well, I got kicked out of school, but that's one. Su- but it's an, a sore also because I got I got forced away from exercising for my dad. But it's also sore for me because my dad grew up my whole life claiming he was reading because he didn't work. Uh, claiming he was reading, but he never talked about any of the books he read. Like it was his rule that you don't talk. If you want to know about the book, you read the book yourself. And so there's a sickness with these old people. He was 1928, so he's silent generation. But these silent generation and these baby boomer assholes, they're not smart enough to, to, to listen to a book. They're never going to do it. They don't even see the possibility. But most of my people, 41% of the people on my website are, under, are between the ages of 25 and 34. And if you're going to add the people under 24, um, that's like another 24%. So you're not talking... Um, 41, 51, 61, two thirds of the people on my website are under the age of 34, which is 12 years younger than I am. So if you're going to include my age group, that cranks it all the way. I don't know exactly. I can't remember. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm, I have that page open right now. I'm not going to look at it and waste time. But if you're going to uh, all the way up to my age, I mean, that's like 90% of the people on my website. Only 10% of the people on my website are older than me. So those people are, you forget about them. They don't exist. They're useless to society. They don't know how to learn. They don't care. But the young people, if I can be like, hey, asshole, you're 25 years old. I'm faster than you on a bike. Yet I did the whole, I listened to a book and I talked to the book today. Why aren't you doing that? You need to do it. If you do it, you'll get the money, the government. We'll give you the money and you don't have to go to school. You can just be in for school your entire life. Government pays you to ride your bike. So, um, um, so yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to listen because I have so many books backed up on my, on my audible. Somehow I think I have audible. I don't remember buying audible. I think audible, like maybe I got it once and then I canceled it, but they refused to cancel and it just kept it going. Cause I have all these audible credits and they were expiring, but I was too lazy to go around and turn my Audible off, so I just go ahead, get ahead in, and got 13 books. So I've got all these books on my Audible that I want, that I need to listen to now because I've freaking been paying for them. And uh, so yeah, I need to get ahead on that. And there's all, all these other books on my web, on my phone too that I need to do. So, but you know, I've been needing to listen to music lately because, um, you know, I need the motivation. But I don't think I'm, I think I'm pretty much done. I'm not gonna do music much longer, like maybe tomorrow, and then I'll be doing the videos. The only reason I'm not doing a talking video now is because it's like one in the morning. You know, but maybe I will. If I have too much insomnia, I'm going to lie down for like a 20 minutes or a couple minutes. But if I'm like, all right, this is boring, I'm going to start doing videos. I did 11 minutes of one the other day. Um, so, yeah, I'm ready because I'm pretty much sober. I got high yesterday, last night, um, because my roommate, um, I gave my roommate five bucks for a joint because I looked like I had to, like, organize my room. And I hate organizing without being high, so I just had, like, one last one. But it totally fucked my lungs today when I was going up Flagstaff. I was, like, <laughs> wheezing big time. So, uh, you know, I'm at that fitness level. I'm a little bit fitter than I was last week. I'm at that fitness level where I can't smoke weed anymore and exercise. Although my fiance is coming in on the 4th and she really wants to smoke weed, so I'm gonna, I'll do weed for her. But that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it because when she comes, we, I do all kinds of stuff I normally don't do. Like we play, we get high and play video games. I have all these nice video games. I have an Xbox. And then we watch movies and, and, um, and uh, you know, adventure around and go hiking and so go to places I normally don't do. And so um, it's going to be a nice little... Uh, little uh little thing i actually invited her out here she got her ticket before i even decided i was gonna ride 
she got her ticket and was coming out here. And so I was like, oh, cool. She'll get me outside because I never go outside. But then after that is when my mom told me that I needed to start training. She, my mom said I had less than a year to live because she's a nurse. And she was telling me that if, if she took me into the emergency room, they would like try to, they'd try to like hook me up to an IV and like figure out what was wrong with me because I started having problems standing. Um, I'd go to her house and I'd be standing there and I'd be like, the gravity would be like pulling me down and I'd be like going, oh, oh, groaning, all, groaning all the time. And also I started sweating in my in night sweats. Both of my pillows became completely soaked in sweat, like totally wet. The entire pillow completely stained with sweat, both of my pillows. And then my entire um, bed sheet, all of it's just totally wet. Like you just pour water on it. And I just have sweat just pouring off, pouring off of my, my face. Because I think I'm pre-diabetic, but also my fiancé says because I'm 46, my uh, testosterone fell down. And that's what happens to men when their testosterone suddenly dips, is they start sweating all the time as their body goes through adjustments. And it pretty much happened this year. Like 46 is when, you, is when your testosterone um, falls off the cliff. 40 is when you gain 50, 15 pounds, just like that. Boom, you gain 15 pounds. 46 is when the testosterone goes away. Um, <clears throat> so, cause I remember 10 years ago when I was 33 or whatever, 36, I could pick it up relatively quickly. I went bike touring and I was, I was, I was, I was riding strong like three weeks after I started three weeks. I ain't going to be riding like that. There's no way in hell in three weeks. I'm going to be fat fuck. So, um, and I think I actually gained a lot of fat inside my intestines cause there's fat lining your intestines. I think I grew fat, not just on my skin, you know, on my dermal layer, but but in my belly, I think I grew fat. My belly is extended. And so I just, all of that, you know, I need to, uh, I need to firm my entire body. It's going to take a while. Dang, talking for 26 minutes, a lot going on. Um, I don't have any time to do anything else, you know, because I don't, I need all my time to, um, like to sleep and to, or to at least try to sleep. And, but pretty soon I'll be doing other things like, uh, touching up my website and get the daily vlog thing going. Um, but, but I mean, it's good to do daily vlogs writing. Um, I, I, um, other people should do it because um, it's good to spread the joy of writing. I mean, being able to ride all day, every day. My God, I don't think I've ever done this. I mean, I've had, I've had summers in high school. You know, where where that's when you're when you get to ride every day. But my parents always had me do stuff. You know, like I had to go for two weeks visit our family in Virginia, or I had to go to a two week meditation retreat with my dad, or I had to you know, do all these other chores and stuff. This is the first time in my life where I actually get to like, it's like, wait, I get to ride all day every day. I just ride all day. My God, what a life. Why the fuck are we making these kids sit in, there in these boxes of death when you could spend much less time and allow them to ride? And then you'd have people all over the place. It'd be like, it would, instead of 60 people on your flybys, it's 600 people on your flybys. Imagine that. And then with all those bikes, they're cheaper. I wouldn't be spending fourteen thousand dollars on a bike like that. I'd spend four thousand dollars on a bike like that, and then I'd be able to afford all the bikes. So um, that's the answer, man. Gotta listen to me. Gotta listen. But you don't have to listen to me now because I'm explaining myself. After I do the videos, people are gonna do it for sure. Anyways, enough talking. Tomorrow, um, I'm gonna do Linden. Do just do my daily ride up to Linden, come back, and then I'm gonna get on my regular road bike. Um, I need to adjust the seat so it's the same height as my time trial bike. I'll do that tomorrow, and then. Um, I'm going to head up in the mountains. I just love heading up. I love climbing head up in the mountains. I'm going to see if I can make it all the way to the um, peak to peak. Peak to peak highway is amazing. Um, via like uh, James Canyon because Boulder Canyon is closed. But uh, if I can make it up to peak to peak or all the way to Brainerd or something like that, that's when I've made it. I rode up to Brainerd in, in 2017, so there's no reason why I wouldn't have the fitness. So um, maybe I'd like to do an e-bike ride and then ride all the way to Brainerd. Um, maybe I can do it. Who knows? Okay, enough talking. Under 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 a half hour. Later.